First, I'm going to be starting with the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. This is a pretty good, I feel like it's a pretty good primer just because it helps to keep your makeup on all day and it helps to retain moisture because it has glycerin in it. It helps to um, keep your skin balanced underneath your makeup. So for me, it just works perfectly. Then I'm going to mix my foundations. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the color Classic Tan and I'm using Milani 2-in-1 Perfecting Foundation or foundation and concealer in the color uh, 09 tan. Mixing those two and I'm applying that with this foundation brush from Real Techniques. So first of all, I know I'm using a beauty blender which is not a drugstore product. I meant to use a Real Techniques beauty sponge. I'm sorry, my bad. I didn't even realize that I wasn't using it. But honestly, I feel like Real Beauty Blenders are worth the investment. That's just me. This foundation does look a little bit light. I'm not even gonna lie. It probably is because I got a tan So it's not exactly my color But it's okay because we're gonna add bronzer and all that stuff around the perimeter of my face So if it looks like I didn't blend it out, that's a why yeah, I look scared, but it's okay. We're gonna fix it. So I'm using The LA girl pro concealer and the color I want to say espresso I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's espresso. All the information will be in the description box. This is like the best concealer on the planet. Just so you guys know, if you haven't tried it already, you need to do it. A lot of people ask me where to get it. You can get it from some drugstores. I've heard you can get it from the beauty supply store. I get mine from the beauty supply store, my local beauty supply. You can also get it online and uh, I'll put a link down below to where you can find it online, but it's a, it's like the best, okay? And I'm using that to blend out the edges of my face because clearly, Clearly, my face is darker than my foundation. So I'm trying to blend out those lines and make it all blend seamlessly. I'm using this uh, little brush from the, Air. I think, believe this was the Ariel collection from the Disney and Walgreens collaboration that they did last year. I don't know if they still make those, those brushes. They probably don't, but it's cool. Just get a small brush and blend it in. This is a expert face brush from Real Techniques. I love Real Techniques brushes. If you need cheap brushes, y'all, Walmart, Target, uh, Ulta, anywhere that sells these brushes, like get some, please do, cause they'll change your life. This is LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color medium beige. And I'm using that to highlight underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, just to kind of like bring some brightness back to the center of my face. I know it seems like I'm doing a lot of steps, but this is how you get a multi-dimensional face. You're adding highlights and shadows where your face would normally have them if you don't have makeup on. When you put on foundation, it takes away the dimension in your face and makes it look like one color. Where I'm adding the highlights, I want to accentuate, and where I'm adding the darker colors, I want to add shadows or warmness to make it look more dimensional. Now I'm going to set my face with the Cody Airspun loose face powder and I'm using this to you know set my under eyes and all of that stuff now this powder is like really good it's not exactly like Laura Mercier translucent powder but it is a great alternative I love it I've been using it non-stop since I bought it I got it from Walgreens it's like 10 bucks and I'm just using um the Real Techniques setting brush to kind of like pat that in and blend away some of the extra what this is going to do is keep your makeup from moving throughout the day so if you start sweating or if you get hot or oily it's not going to move it's going to keep everything in place and keep that foundation set where you put it now I'm using a I don't know what brush this is so I'm sorry I don't even know <laughs> but I'm using a brush <laughs> to apply my bronzer around the perimeter of my face. I like to layer my powder products on top of my cream products to make them stand out even more and keep them from moving. This is Black Radiance Pressed Powder and I'm using this uh, Morphe brush, which is not a drugstore brush, but it is inexpensive. I'm using that to apply my Milani Romantic Rose blush. I love this blush. Milani has the best blushes to me from the drugstore. Like I love Milani brushes so much, blushes not brushes. This is the e.l.f. bronzer in the color Turks and Caicos and 
I love this bronzer so much. I forgot how much I loved it. I stopped using it for a while and now I don't remember why because I love it so much. It's so good. It's $3 too, so you can't beat that. Now I'm taking my beauty sponge and I'm just applying a little bit of this Milani eyeshadow and it's in the color Bella Champagne and I'm using that to pop that in the inner corner of my eyes and I'm also using it to highlight. There are other drugstore highlighters out there but I heard through the grapevine that this is a really good highlight color so I decided to try it and I'm actually really impressed. And of course this is going to make your cheekbones pop. I'm going to use my NYX micro brow pencil in the color dark brown I believe it's dark brown and I uh, went ahead and put that all over my brows I didn't even realize that I wasn't recording the camera cut off and I got like none of the brow part but I'm applying some mascara to my eyebrows to just add a little more depth and dimension and make them more 3d looking so it makes it look like you have hairs so basically just fill in your brows normally and then you can apply some black mascara if you have black hair of course if your hair is dark and uh, it'll just make your eyebrows pop. And that was the L'Oreal Miss Manga mascara, by the way. Now I'm using these uh, lashes. This is an Ardell set, but I also love the Salon Perfect set as well from Walmart. This is uh, the Ardell Glamour 105. I love all of the Glamour lashes from Ardell, and they're not expensive at all. I got the set from Target. And after applying those with some glue, I use Star Glue, by the way, which I get from the beauty supply store, and it's super cheap. I'm going to go in with my Jordana lip pencil, and this is in the color Coco Loco, and it's like two bucks, and it's awesome. I got it from Walgreens, and I love it. It's super smooth and affordable, and it just works. So I'm applying that to the rim of my lips, and then on the inner inside portion of my mouth I'm going to apply uh what is this oh wet and wild 902c you guys know I love this color I've been wearing it for years I love it it's a great nude and it's super cheap it's only like two bucks and then I'm applying my NYX NYX intense butter gloss in the color peanut brittle and that is going to give me a nice uh beige pinky nude color Love it. And then I'm applying that mascara on my lashes to make them look more realistic because what I noticed about those lashes are that they're kind of thin. So if you just set them on your lash and they're just kind of sitting there, they're not really doing much, you know. But if you apply some mascara, it'll make it look like it's your lashes. So it helps to blend, but it also helps to make it look more realistic. And that's pretty much all. After that, I showed how I did my hair in a uh, tutorial. So if you wanted to see how I do my hair it's uh it's up the tutorial is up so go check it out but anyway this is the makeup look and i'm finished so if you guys like it please let me know and uh, i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i'll talk to you guys in my next video okay bye